Get that out of the way. Oh my god, how long to measure it? I know, Steve. I know, I should have got tape measure. <laughs> right, there we go. Right, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Good evening, finally back to your lives. Rach, how you doing? Nice to have you back. Okay. Right, so the first thing I've got to do is obviously put some liquid white on. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to put liquid white on the top, some down the bottom. So like I said, I'm doing a sunset, so let's just put some liquid white on. I'm going to need some more of this soon. So this is like the boring bit, we've got some paint bogies going on. Probably because I'm using that out of the jar. Okay. So yeah, at the minute, this, this is not very exciting this bit, but I thought I'd just come and show you instead of doing it doing it behind before I come on. I thought I'd just show you because you can see the whole video then. Because I upload these to YouTube anyway. So if you're watching back on YouTube now, hello. Uh, Pamela Butcher, hello, darling. How are you? Uh, Rachel, I'm good, thanks. Hope you're well. Yeah, all good. All good. I'm always good when I'm painting, even if it goes wrong. Because no, most, you know, 10 times out of 10, you can put things right, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we've got the liquid white on there. Making sure that's proper in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna put some down the bottom. Up to about sort of that area. Because I'm going to have some, hopefully some sand dune, dunes in there. And I'm going to have to fill the tape bit in afterwards because I could have done with a bit of filler tape. Okay, so we've got some, we've got some liquid white on there. Uh, Sandy Shaw, how you doing? Uh, congrats on the Michael Barrymore mention too. I know, that was crazy. He's a legend. I like old Michael. I grew up with him on TV. He's a ledge, a legend. Well, I've got some yellow here. Hopefully you can see the board. Let's get some yellow on the board. We've got some yellow ochre. Might need some more of that. I'm just starting with tiny bits. Let's get a bit of red. Very strong, that red. So we'll just blend as we go, I think. So let's start with the yellow first, because that's like the lightest color. So we want some yellow. So I'm going to put some yellow on the board. Maybe just a little bit of ochre with that. Mix, just pulling that across in there. Oh, that's come out really dark. That's okay. That's quite nice actually. Get these little things off. They've come out in the liquid white. Let's just pull some. Wherever you think. Okay, let's put a bit down here. Uh, let's have a look here. Um, JX, yes, how are you doing? I know it's going to be good. I hope so. Mark, no linseed. No, not tonight. Not tonight. Right, let's put some down here. Just some light. I need to, when I take the tape off, is it, the tape's there for a reason for my horizon line. I'm gonna have to fill that bit underneath the tape and bring it up, but it still has to be like that to, it'll just help out a lot, so. Okay, but it's quite nice. Okay, let's go into the red. Very, very strong and powerful, this red. Look at that lovely sort of orangey sort of color. Let's drag some of that about. Let's go up to the board and put some of this on. I think put it in patches and then you can work from that. Very sort of easy to do a sunset. And we can blend all that in. Let's get it a little bit darker and maybe a bit of ochre in there. 
again we'll drag some down into this this bottom part you can see it coming together already right I'll try and read the comments Nether painted without linseed, tried once and it all seemed too stiff. To oh no, this isn't lin. Um, yeah, try magic white. I've got magic white on the board. Magic white. Yeah. So this is wet on wet, basically. Which is, it's, it's not linseed, it's, I can't remember the name of it now, but. Okay, let's put some bits of red in here. That red is so strong, so. Okay, so. I'm gonna add a bit more yellow and a bit more orange because I want a bit more fiery in some places. Uh, what brand of paint? Uh, thank you very much for the uh, gift there that I missed. Thanks, Jerry. Much appreciated. Nice to have you here. Uh, Emily Rose, how does someone get past a perfection, perfectionism block? Advice. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. I do know what you mean. Just, <laughs> you've got to try and... <laughs> Sort of, I don't know, what's, how, how do you do that? Let go, just, um, it's not the easiest thing, is it? Don't be too like, hard on yourself, I think. I'm putting a little, red, a little red, a little bit more red on each time because I'm trying to build this up until I get sort of the right sort of, I want that sort of yellowish there. I'll put some other colours in as well. I'll just blend that out now. Okay. Hopefully I'll have enough paint down there where I've got that here. I'll leave it quite thick here so I can bring some of that up when I take the tape off. Uh, what brand of paint do I use? It's Peebo. I think it's uh, P E B E O. If you check out my link underneath my profile picture, uh, it, it tells you where it takes you all to all the paints that I use, like direct links and stuff like that. We'll put some uh, other colours in here too, up the top probably, give it a bit of depth. Okay. Right, so I'm just lightly going over this now. Right, we want some kind of um, lavender colour, so I'm going to get some crimson. If I can find it. I've got some phthalo blue, not Prussian blue. Right, well, I found the crimson, let's have a bit of that. Bit of crimson. And some phthalo blue. Um, love these colours, yeah, <laughs> they are nice. Look, the story of every artist, perfection block, yeah, absolutely. Do you ever use graphite or, no, I don't, no, never. Never, never, never. Right, where's that blue gone? I want phthalo blue, phthalo blue, phthalo blue, where are you? Where's my phthalo blue? Oh, there it is. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. February, thank you so much for the gift. Wow, that's a nice little gift there. Thank you so much. Uh, Jerry, I loved your video, by the way, with the cat in the bath. That was so funny. I love cats. Show me a cat and I melt. I, really, I just love cats. Well, right, so I want a lavender colour here, so I'm going to... Mix up a bit of these. 
this maybe a bit more crimson there might have to sort of test this with a little bit of white that's very dark actually might just test a little bit of that let me just test a little bit of that I think it's a little bit darker than I might want but oh no it's not too bad actually might just put a bit on with a fan brush uh, Charlotte, uh, Sh Charlotte, oh my goodness, listen to me, Charlotte, Charlotte, how you doing? Uh, June Berry, forgive my ignorance with layering oil paint on canvas, does it ever crack when it's dry? Um, I haven't, I haven't come across that, so. Okay, maybe, let me see how that blends out a little bit. sort of testing the colours here. I think a little bit more crimson in that. Just a bit more, make sure you get your colours right guys. Right, let's nick some of this crimson, nick some of that because I've got an awful lot there. So it looks like a little real sort of deep lavender sort of colour. I think that'd be enough there. Okay. I didn't plan to do a stream tonight, but I thought I might as well come and do one. Jack, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Glad to be back watching you. Glad to have you here too. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so I'm just putting some, look at this, look. Some streaks of darkness. Let's have some at the top there. And maybe somewhere there. And let's put some up, I'll just put some more there when I get it. Right, let's blend some of this out. That, that thing at the top of the, this does actually annoy me, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. So I just blend them out until you're happy. This bit's always really shiny for me because I've got the light over here. I can never see it quite properly unless I sort of do that, so. Okay, let's. Clean my brush a little bit. Um, Jack, I just thought I'd pop in to say hello, but I've got to go now for school. Oh no, that's a nuisance, isn't it? But I'm glad you popped in to say hello. Do you use a reference picture? Sometimes, sometimes, in my head mainly. I like to pick things out from pictures that I find maybe on Google and I thought I think I'll have some of this or I'll have some of that okay I quite like that that's quite nice right let's move on I think that's quite nice colors for a sunset don't you so I don't know whether to move that horizon line yet I'll tell you what Let's put the sun in, so a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. Let's put the sun in. I'm going to use my finger to do this. I think it's so much easier. It's time to get a dirty finger. Are you self-taught? Yes, I am self-taught, yeah. Uh, I don't understand how you can do things like this, so keep going. You're amazing and talented. Oh, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Jerry, loving this, thank you. Love when you all here, by the way. Do you ever do human portraits? No. Um, the closest thing I got to doing a human was Robocop when I was at school. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not my thing, really. It, it's this kind of painting, I can sit down and do one in an hour. And I like that. Do you know what I mean? I like that. Whereas if I'm sitting there for, I mean, that, I think that Robocop 
cock picture, which is above me, took me about six weeks in stages, and I'm just like, it's so long. So, okay, I'm just, look, a bit of finger painting, guys. Don't wanna muff this up. I should put the sun about here, because we've got that yellow, that yellow. Sp we've got that little yellow patch there. But really, guys, if you fancy doing it, just give it a go. I think that'll do. That's quite nice. It's not too bright. It's not too yellow. It's there, maybe just a tad bigger, I think. Just a tad bigger. I'm trying to do a half decent circle. So we don't have a pear-shaped moon, uh, sun. <laughs> Jamie, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Rebecca, uh, I can uh, can I ask where do the northern lights? When you do the northern lights, is the black dry? Um, yes, it's a black canvas. Yeah, I start with black canvas. Oh, I'm glad you're good, Jamie. Nice to have you here, buddy. I think I'll just leave that now. I think that's quite good enough. Right, in, the, in this case, I'm gonna bring some of this color up now. I'm gonna take this tape off. Okay, let's get rid of that. I need to swerve my drink. Let's see if we can zoom up to 5K likes, guys. And down here somewhere you can, um, if you can share the live, um, you can just press share and then copy link. You don't even have to send it anywhere, that'll help. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this, some of this paint up. I'm gonna do this quite carefully. <clears throat> Cause I wanna leave, I wanna know where that line is. And I haven't got any liquid clear under there. So, you know, this could take a little bit of time to do, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna put some lab, I'm gonna bring it up quite close. I don't really wanna to touch it too much. Because obviously I ain't got no liquid clear underneath there, like I said. So, it's just a matter of keep bringing it up till it gets close. It's just so I know, oh, this, this is fine. I need to know where that line is. Because I wanna make the sea a little bit darker. So yeah, here we go. Very carefully, I'm just wiggling the brush. And that will leave a nice line. That's making paint, well done to you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm in oil paints, yeah. I own a painting by, yeah, Jamie the Slug has purchased a painting from me and he sent me a nice little video where it's in situ. It looks well looked after. Right, yeah, I mean, if you want to have a look at, I've got so many for for sale and so many many that are drying. Um, if you're interested, they're actually on you, wherever my profile picture is, there's a link underneath my, yeah, click on my profile picture, takes you to my profile, and then underneath my profile picture is a link, and that link takes you to everywhere. My social media, where I buy my paint, where my paintings for sale, and they're on eBay at the moment, so I get a website, but they're up for bidding, but you can just make an offer. So, and I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm really reasonable as well, so. I'm trying to do this bit over here very carefully. I want to leave the thinnest, the thinnest of thinnest, the thinnest, the thinnest line, lines. So I'll be going across for that with the palette knife. But I'll just leave it like that now. Now, I need to put some lavender on. Okay, so we're at 4.5 thousand likes. Thanks, guys. 
everyone that's following, everyone that's liking, I really appreciate it. Now I need some dark in here. Again, this is some of the lavender. I just want to get some up closer to the to here. And I want it to come down to about there. Um, just putting this on really lightly. And I've got to blend that out quite close to that line. So hopefully there's enough there. Yeah, you can email me as well or message me on TikTok now. I think there's a, I think now there is a message or a message button on my TikTok. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's working, so. See how that just makes that a little bit darker. Yeah, this painting shouldn't really take that long, to be honest. Might be one of my fastest ones yet. So it's different, you know, the, the, the water is different to the sky. Now you can add like bits of, uh, let's just add a little bit of yellow around here, just to brighten that up a little bit. Okay. Okay, this is fun. Yes, I think I'm I think I'm about as close as I can get to that line before I put some before I run my palette knife across there. <clears throat> so before I do that, let's move on. Now guys, this is a first for me. Uh, Grace, you guys are also encouraging to this amazing. Thank you, Grace. 5k likes, well done, guys. I bet you got sore fingers now. So, guys, this is a first for me. I've never used liquid black. So, this is a first, first ever time I've used liquid black. Brand new pot. It smells like black. Oh, it smells nice, actually. It's oily. I say that because last night I'd done the most silliest thing of sniffing. I picked up a lid. I don't know if you was in my stream last night. And I sniffed the lid to see where, which colour it went on. Colours don't smell. <laughs> oh, nuts. Susie, how you doing? Sorry, had to head, head off. Had school. Okay, well, hopefully you can catch it back up on YouTube. Come and subscribe to me on YouTube. And you can watch all these back. Okay. Now, liquid black, here we go, guys. I'm gonna use a fan brush for this. So I'm just gonna, I've give this a real good mix because it was sitting about. So, so I'm just gonna lay out some land here and just think where this may be. So I had the rough shape in my mind. Oh, it goes on really nice actually, the liquid black. Make sure I dip it in the right paint. See how well that covers actually. Just coat all this up. This is very satisfying actually. It covers so well that it's really, really satisfying. really see it coming together now. Oh, did I miss, uh, I don't know if I missed a, a, a gift or what, but if I did, then thank you. I'm not, obviously I've got my eyes on the painting, so. Let's go something like that. Plenty of black on there. This is actually really satisfying, colouring black, uh, white into black. It's more satisfying than what it, what it should be, I think. <laughs> yeah. 
there we go, look at that. Lovely. Right, okay, let's have a look in the uh, Steve, how you doing? You're back, FC, how you doing? Nice to have you here. I uh, love your normal nights and mountains, but this is lovely change. Yeah, exactly, I wanted to do a change. There's a few things I want to do that's on the list. I've had some suggestions from people, and um, I wanted to visit a sunset again because I've only done one, which is hanging up on the wall by me, which is one of my first. Now I've learned a bit more um, with blending and stuff, I'll tell you what, at the end of the live, we'll have a look at my first one and then look at this one and you can decide. Okay, so that was pretty easy and I did all that with a fan brush. Let's just neaten some of this up because I want a nice crisp line here. So this is like a sil silhouette, is it silhouette? <laughs> Jerry, thank you for the gold roses, I've just spotted that. They're new, aren't they, the gold roses? Been watching your videos on tube, uh, YouTube. Nice one, Steve. Are you gonna give it a go soon? So amazing and peaceful to watch. I'd have to agree, agree with you, Katie, definitely. I have to agree with you. Come on, let's see if we can get to 10K. It would be amazing if we can beat my record tonight. But uh, mind you, it's a bit of a short painting, so I don't know if we will. Bro yeah, absolutely, Bob Ross. And don't forget who taught him, Brian, uh, which was Bill Alexander. Bill Alexander's well worth a watch. And in some ways, even more so. Um, he was the guy that sort of done the wet on wet. I love watching Bob Ross. I'm on season... I'm on, oh, I set to watch the whole lot, right? I'm on season, I think it's seven or eight, something like that. 13 episodes in each one, and there's 35 seasons. And by the time I watched them, I thought I'm giving it a go, and that was last March, last year. So I had to give it a go. Uh, I am buying the stuff on my day off on Friday. Nice one, Steve. Uh, no, Jerry, my record is 46,000 likes in a live stream. 46,000. We're at 10, nearly 10k. So, and shares, if you guys can just press the share again, as much as you can, really. Uh, share and then just copy link. That's it. You don't even have to send it to anyone. It just helps with the old YouTube algorithm thing. So I appreciate uh, everyone that's doing that. Uh, great blending, mate. Oils with Mick, how you doing, buddy? Uh, oils with Mick, I wish it was in my live stream last night, actually. I don't even know if I can show you the painting, because I think I took it in to dry. I've got, like, 20 paintings in my living room drying at the moment. Okay, so, what next? Let's have some... We're going to do some, like... Um, you know, thingies here, what do you call them? Grasses and stuff. Like grasses and stuff like that. All right, I'm gonna get some white. A little bit of liquid white. And last night, last night's stream, I got massive gifts last night. I got the little mini lion. Um, which I was so surprised about. Uh, battery going on the back. Okay, okay, Jerry, see you in a bit. 10k, well done, guys. Well, actually, we're 11k now. Thanks, I want to send 447 likes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right, so I'm going to take a bit of that uh, lavender colour that I got and take just mix it into this white here. See that? It's quite a pale sort of colour. Hopefully that's enough there. Because I'm gonna do some I'm gonna do some light highlights in here, hoping that this is gonna work. But before that, let's make some little um, bits and pieces here. Looks like looking into the ocean through that's exactly what it's supposed to be. Yes, that's the one. 
that's the one. Right, let's get a little bit of liquid. So I've got liquid black. Yeah, that's it, liquid black. On here, let's have a dollop of that. And I'm gonna get some paint thinners. Hopefully you can see. I've just got some liquid black on the board and then I'm gonna get some paint thinners into it. Just to thin it down a little bit. And hopefully we should be able to do some quite nice little grassy things. Because you really want it thin when you're doing this. So there we go. It's quite thin, I think it's gonna be thin enough. To sort of test it a bit. So, okay. So before we do that, that's ready. Where's the black? Let's see if we can just lift up some little grassy areas here. So I'm just flicking up. Slow, slowly. And then we'd have some bigger ones. Just some little ones here and there. Might use the side of the brush over here. And then we're gonna have some bigger ones. I'm doing this really lightly. So I'm just pulling up the black that's there. We have some places that's got some, some places hasn't. Uh, this is beautiful, thank you so much. Any of those where to buy from or what to do to get me started? Yeah, um, you can get the same stuff as me and I've, there are all the links are there. Again, if you go to my profile picture, pro profile, one link underneath, that takes you to everywhere where I buy my paints and everything. It'll take you straight to where the canvas is and stuff like that. Just to make it easier. Okay, let's just do that then. Right, I hope I've thinned down this black enough now. I'm gonna do some grasses and stuff. Uh, Twilight, wow, thank you so much. So guys, you can um, subscribe to me. We've got a family of three at the moment. You can subscribe to me, that would really help out. And also I've got a gift go up here. So if anyone fancies doing that, then brilliant. If not, tap the screen, share, everything helps. Right, where should we go with this? Let's just have a little test here. Now, this side's gonna be easy because I'm right-handed. Right, that's a little bit thicker than I want. I'm gonna thin down the paint a little bit. Hopefully you'll get a better run. So I've only done little flicks. This is really lightly. <laughs> it's uh, a little bit ter terrifying. <laughs> but we're okay. Got some little ones there. Some here. Um, just join the number one gift the badge. Thank you for the gifts. Much appreciated. Duncan with his normal one liner. V camp V W campbell will look good in this one. <laughs> what about a little barbecue over there, Duncan, next to it and stuff like that? <laughs> So I'm just doing little flick ups. Thanks for the gifts guys, I really appreciate it. I've, I know I've missed a few, but and thank you for the follows. You want being brave now, look. Being brave going high. I think it's easier to do it quicker, to be honest. 
do it, Lil. <laughs> nice to come back and see how the painting has progressed. Nice to have you back, Steve. Nice to have you back. Let's see if we can do some higher ones over here then. Now I'm conf more confident. A few curly ones. Maybe there's a few there. Now let's just make a little cluster in there so it looks like it's coming out of a, a cluster of them. In there, down the bottom. And crisscross them as well, I think. Uh, just crossing them over so they're not all going sort of straight up, if you know what I mean. Because if they're all going straight up, it would look a bit weird, wouldn't it? So they're actually growing out of just like a, a little cluster comes from the side. There we go. Now, it's almost like a path has appeared even though, well, there is gonna be a path, there is. And I'm gonna do I'm going to do the um, like the thing that I said I was going to do before that. And really, I feel like I should have done it before I'd done the grass. And the reason being is, I wanted to highlight that line a bit, but it doesn't really matter. I've got some yellow here. Carefully. Just going to run across here. I've got a little bit of yellow. It's not a lot. I'm just putting a bit there. I want to put some sparkles and stuff like that. It's almost like, oh, no, I've read that one. I was on, on repeat then. So I'm just dragging a little bit of yellow across there. I'm breaking up the neat line. Okay. I'm going to try and keep this as straight as possible. I'm going to get some really nice sparkles there coming off uh, the palette knife. Keep tapping the screen, guys. We're at 15.9. We're only 25. No, I don't know. Work it out. 46,000 is the best, so... Yeah, it's nice, got a little paint bogey there, look. That's gotta come off. So this was the yellow that I knocked up earlier. But we need a little bit up here, I know that. I'm just gonna touch the palette knife on there. And get some little sparkles. This really gives it depth now. Really gives it depth. I think I've just about got the right amount of yellow. The palette knife is such a good uh, tool, it really is. I'm almost out of the yellow that I've made, so I'm gonna have to make a little bit more and hopefully sort of match it. The thing is, you can always add. Let's just get a little bit more white. Uh, this is so lovely, quite different. Thank you so much, yeah. I really wanted to do something, you know, a bit different tonight, so I'm happy with the way it's come out. I'm making a bit more yellow. I've got quite a good colour match going on. And I think I'm gonna add some, maybe add some sparkles of white in with it, I don't know. Let's just see how this goes here. Little 
sparkles. Okay, you see that horizon line? I want to jag it up a bit. Just tap, tap. Tapping the palette knife on there. It's almost like a little glisten, you know, the sun's glistening. Have you ever seen the Bob Ross episode where he does a full painting only using palette knife? Yes, he's done a couple. Yeah, he's done a couple. And there's one I want to try of his where he uses two colours. Well, actually, there's two. There's one with black and white and another one with lavender and white. So I want to give them a go as well. I really do. Put a few, we can get away with a few sort of ones here, here and there, I think. Yeah, just a touch more up here. So it almost looks like it's glistening. Quite important to keep them straight, obviously. Doesn't matter if, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but. Because water is flat, so. Just a touch. 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 Okay. Now I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna go up and down in a few little places, like a little scratch. That should help with some little sort of sparkles. I don't know where I got this idea from. Should I try it? Some people paint them on actually. Well people do paint paint them on but just up and down hopefully put in a little bit of paint. It'll almost look like sparkles. There we go. Love your work. Thank you very much, Josh. How you doing, anyway? Uh, thanks, everyone. Thank you. Uh, 21,000 likes. Come on. 46 to beat. 46,000 to beat. It doesn't matter. Right, let's put some little... Um, I want to put some little things. Things. Some little seed heads on some of these. Look. Now, this is little, little delicate stuff. Some little seed heads. I mean, that's tiny. I hope you can see it. I'll give you a closer look at the end. Bit of a closer look at the end. We'll just put a few in and a few this side. And we can just very carefully tap some little seed heads in. I don't know what these are, but they're there. Maybe there's a little small one down here. There we go. There we go. Josh Horror. I don't know what the second name is. I can see Josh Horror. But thank you so much for the gifts. Uh, much appreciated. You, you're now the number one gifter. Thank you so much. I've got a little gift goal going on up here somewhere if anyone wants to help out with that and you can subscribe we have a little family of three at the moment um, so if anyone wants to come subscribe and help us out that'd be great remember we, we when you're famous lad <laughs> and I'll say the same to you <laughs> nice to have you here and thanks for the gifts I appreciate it Josh right then let's move on and hopefully I'm just going to test some of this colour out here. Just, uh, I might have to bring the board forward here. I'm going to attempt some little birds in this. I've never done birds. Never done birds. In any of my paintings. 
but I think it deserves a few little birds. Okay. Uh, Roger, better than those. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not. We all know they're not, but it doesn't matter. People are allowed to say what they want. Okay, let's, um, let's just see how this goes on. I think more, well, maybe that's okay. So this is just a lavender. I'm using. Obviously, it's mixing with the black. And I'm going to blend blend this in anyway. So hopefully, we'll might have to play about with this a little bit, but. Yes, that's a bit of colour there. I uh, might have to sort of muck around with that with the fan brush, but we'll see how that goes. I'll try and find my fan brush that's actually got the, the um... oh no, I haven't got a fan brush with that colour on, so I'll use a new fan brush and put some on. Uh, how long is this taking you to do, mate? Um, I think I started at about quarter past, 20 past 10. So at the moment, about 40, 45 minutes. So let's go into this lavender. Just put some, might have to make some more lavender up. But... Right, I need some more whites. I need to make a little bit more lavender up. So, get some white and a bit of that dark lavender that I had, just there. Thanks for everyone that's following and liking the live and gifts, it's much appreciated. If you can share and copy link, uh, that's great. It's nice to have a good audience tonight. Uh, 45 minutes, that's fast. I know somebody takes them weeks to finish one painting. Yeah, it's, I mean, it is pretty fast. <laughs> and I started in March last year, so you can do this, guys. You can do it, you know. And it's wet on wet, so all the painting is is, is wet. So wet paint and wet paint and wet paint and wet paint, basically. Let's go back into this lavender. It's quite a nice colour. We'll just put some streaks down here. And that just gives a bit of depth to the painting as well, you know. You can make it look like there's bits in front. Just blend some of that out. So you can really sort of see the, the heels there. Little highlights here and there, you know. You can See, I've got that one going there. Let's have this one sort of coming in front. So it almost looks like another little dune coming down there, look. There we go. And then we just blend that out lightly. Coming up to the path a little bit. We can blend some of this in now, you see, the little path. I quite like the way that looks, so I'm not going to go too mad there, I think that's... Pull that up to there. That just gives depth to the painting now, it's more 3D. You know, it's more... 
it's not just black there, is it? It's more. It, you can feel the swoop coming down now. I can put some other little black, you know, some of these grasses in there. Hopefully, it will show up. That could have, add a little bit more um, depth. So we can try that out. This is my second sunset ever in oil paintings. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Um, uh, just tried to see if anyone sent any gifts. If so, thank you. Sorry I missed stuff, followers. Thank you for following, thank you for liking. Uh, this looked fantastic while I'm in bed. It's best to go straight into the canvas or practice on site. Go straight onto the canvas, mate. That's what I did. Just go for it. Don't be scared. Just go for it. And mate, nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, you can correct it. You know, I mean, I've, I've done it on a live stream where I've put like a little bush there. I've worked on it, didn't like it, scraped it off. You can scrape it off with a palette knife. So yeah, you can just uh, just go for it, guys. I think you'll probably surprise yourself a lot of you if you if you gave it a go. I might try and put a few sort of black grasses there. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I just want to. I have to come really close over here because, like I say, the light shines on this bit and I can't see it as well. Uh, you can change the way that. But I think we're good there now. Quite like that little bit there. I'll try and get a similar one there. Just a bit of a highlight, you know. Don't play with it too much, but I see them strokes I can't see from where I am. I know you can see them. Yeah, just a little bit there. There. So I might just try and um, with the script brush and just see if the black does show up so I can put some grasses a bit closer. It kind of does, I think. That'll help it give a little bit more depth, you know? Just a few here and there, I don't have to go mad. Oh, it does, it does. It does. It's quite nice. Let's have a few here and there. Um, where do you do your paint painting? Do you ever paint from pits or is it just imagination? I look a lot on Google and Pinterest and Bob Ross, and I think I'll have that there. Or I've seen similar stuff. You know, I've seen I've seen a similar one to this. And I've got one of them um, sort of um, minds that I, I can see things done, like before they're done. Um, like if I was doing a project, um, I can normally just do it until... I've just got one of them minds that can see it done. I think being a um, paint decorator all my life, you know, I can see the room done before it's finished. Um, 3D effect, very clever, I like it very much. Yeah, it really has sort of uh, done that well again. Chris, how you doing? Uh, Prush, Prussian. It's very impressive, thank you so much. Right, okay, let's, um, what should we do now? I wanna put some little birds in, okay? <laughs> I hope I don't ruin the painting. Right, I'm gonna make sure this is proper thin. 
So basically, I'm going to try and attempt a little bird. Um, this could go wrong. I always say that. I hope it doesn't go wrong. <laughs> I just don't want to put too much on. That's what I'm scared of. So. Okay. Okay. Let's give him a friend. Just want to make sure that's not too much on the brush. I'm going to stand back and look at this, okay? Oh my gosh, I nearly picked up the bottle of thinners to drink instead of my drink. I'm gonna have a look, I'm standing back and having a look. I think it's all right. I'll just knock the camera. Um, uh, makes it feel like you're there. Yes, the birds. Yes, I knew it would look so good. Always okay, perfect. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. 31,000. Oh, come on. I have to stay on until we beat 46,000. I have to. We're so close. We're so close. Yeah, okay. So that's the first time I've done birds. Second time I've done a sunset. I don't think it needs much more. I think it's, it's basically there. I'm gonna show you a closer look. I'll tell you what, I will sign it before I go. You got your own studio. I built a little summer house. I started painting in March, oil painting in March in 2022 last year. And I really needed somewhere to do it. I had a little room inside, but I, I took three months out to build this little summer house. Yeah, and I'm in my summer house. Uh, Chris, looks fantastic. It looks like a photograph, perfect. So, oh, thank you so much. Everyone get tapping, get tapping, Charlotte. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, 33.4 thousand likes, 32 shares. That's pretty good. You can just press share, copy link, and that's it. You don't have to send it to anyone. Um, yeah, so I've got a subscription um, thing up here. You can, I think it's about five pound a month. If anyone wants to join the little, I've only got three subscribers. Um, so if you wanna join there, that, that would help me out. Um, and I've got a gift goal as well, if anyone fancies helping with that. I think I've got a gift goal on anyway, but I, I appreciate anything. So guys, thank you. Thank you everyone for really kind words. Emily Rose Shaw. So it's taken, I think about an hour, about an hour. But give me one second guys, I'm gonna clean this brush out, I need to sign it off. Stick around. I've got to show you my other sunset as well, my, my first one. I see if you guys can still hear me. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. But I'll show you my first ever sunset that I did. And this, this is my second one, okay? This is so fun though. This has been really fun to do. It's been really fun. It's been really nice to have you all guys here with me tonight as well. So, now I'm just gonna dip this in the thinners. I've got some thinners on the brush. The palette's looking quite good tonight. You see how watery and red, I'm just going into the red with some thinners. You see how watery that is? You really do need it thin. Now, normally I sign down in the corner with red. I, hope, I don't know if red's gonna show on the black, but I can only try if it doesn't, I'll blend it out. Another amazing painting. Jamie, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Steve, how long do they take to dry? Indoor. Oh, thank you for the roses, Josh. 
um, another me. Uh, where, where, where was I? Where was I? Oh yeah, indoors. I think a good couple of weeks, maybe longer. It just depends on the climate. I can just about get some red on there, guys. Thank you so much for these roses. So I'm just signing this off. Don't forget to check out my uh, my little shop. Uh, check out my links. Okay, so I've just about got it on there, really. You can make it out. I will sign the back with my full name anyway, but there you go. Uh, doesn't say how much it is to subscribe, and I missed how much you said it was. I think it's about four. I think it's about between four or five pound a month. Um, you can choose when you go to do it somewhere up there. But any new subscribers would be really, really welcome. Be nice to have a little family going. Oh, it is four ninety nine. Four ninety nine a month. You can choose just one month, or you can choose more months. But any um, anything like that literally helps me with paint and buying canvases because I'm forever buying canvases, forever buying paint, all different kinds of paint, including liquid clear, magic white, magic black, uh, thinners, and then I've got brush cleaner. And obviously the canvases, so it just helps. I can do more live streams, you know. I can do more live streams. Um, we got some new people joining. Welcome. What size canvas is this? This is a thirty by forty centimeter. Thirty by forty centimeter. Right, let's give you guys a bit of a closer look, shall we? Right, so you're you're about you've been about a foot and a half, two foot away from the painting, so you know from a distance. Um, you really need to be up close to see it on the phone, but yeah, there you go. I like the little birds. Uh, everyone, say hello YouTube as well, because I'm going to show you all now. Because I obviously look from here. I read this is where I read all your comments. So say hello YouTube, uh, Milky Way, your talent is subscribe to support you. Did you subscribe? Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for subscribing. Wow. Welcome to the family. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, thanks for the uh, roses as well. There we go. We've got some hello YouTubers. Thank you so much. Really amazing. It makes me want to come and paint more. It really helps out. I can, you know, buy some more stuff. And there we go. Look all these YouTube. Hello YouTube. There we go. So guys, yeah, this this live stream will be on YouTube in the next couple of days, tomorrow or the following day, and you can watch it back. And the good thing is, you can watch all my past live streams back. And if you fancy giving a painting a go, you can pause it. And I'll keep saying this. You can now pinch the screen on your phone or iPad to make the screen bigger when you're watching it back on YouTube. So you can zoom in right into what I'm doing. And that will really, really help you. So I just thought I'd point out 40.9 thousand likes. Shall I stay till 46 or should we call it? Yes, it's oil. <laughs> uh, Vic, yeah, it's oil. Subscribe too. Wow. Have we got more subscribers? Whoever subscribed, thank you. Thank you so much. I need like 5,000 pairs of eyes. I need paint to do painting and I, I need one to look at followers, one to look at likes, one to look at subscribers, one to look at gifters. <laughs> you can just imagine walking down that path. Oh yeah. Okay, first sunset.